what is that verification whatever you have done whether it is correct or wrong how to find out you have done right concept n o i approach net operating income approach now we have assumptions like value of the firm what is the formula ebit divided by cost of capital now k o is equal to 12.5% what is 12.5% overall cost of capital now so overall cost of capital k o remains constant for all degree of debt equity mix then Hey, warm welcome to one and all. This is your other sir here, lecturing with the Ashram First Grade College, the Temple of Excellence. And now we are in the session eight of your topic called financial management. And in financial management, we are discussing capital structure. Now, under capital structure, we have done many problems so far, and will continue with the new concept as well as. more important problem for your examination what we are going to discuss in today's session we'll go for next slide your agenda is very simple we will work out on problem along with that we will understand the concept concept n o i approach net operating income approach now we have assumptions like the change in the proportion of the debt capital structure leads to change in the risk perception of the shareholder remember if you make any changes in the debt capital it will leads to changes in the risk factor also directly the debenture share debenture holding will affect your risk part also that is your part one first assumption the second assumption is the overall cost of capital uh overall cost of capital this is this must be k o remains constant for all degrees of debt equity mix so overall cost of capital k o remains constant for all degree of debt equity mix then investor tend to capitalize the total earnings of the company to find out the value of company as a whole now these are the points just you have to mug up and remember don't go in depth now the value of equity is the residual value residual means least at the end value which is determined by deducting the total value of the debt from the total value of the company now what is the value of equity from total value if you minus debenture you will get value of equity easiest one will work out so these are the formula you are supposed to remember first thing you are supposed to find out value of the firm there is a first one value of the firm what is the formula ebit divided by cost of capital now next one value of equity what is the formula of value of equity your value minus debenture now already you have found out value this is only your value from value you are supposed to minus debenture then you will get your equity value now once you done with equity value what is your cost of capital this is your second one what is your cost of equity now ebit minus interest on debenture interest on debenture divided by e what is e answer of second one the first answer of v will come here second answer of e will come here so your first one second one and third one all three we completed this will be called as third one 1 2 3 once you done with this you have to go for verification what is the verification formula will go for that the verification formula is cost of capital is equal to your cost of debenture into debenture cost of equity 
into equally divided by value. Value means what? Value of the form. Now, so these are the information we have and we will work out this. Your problem number one in this, a company is having EBIT. What is your EBIT? I'll write down one by one. EBIT. It is one lakh. Debt borrowed at 10%. Debenture. What is your debenture? Your debenture value is 5 lakh. Then interest. So interest is how much? We have 10%. So it will be 5 lakh multiplied with 10%. It will be 50. Thousand and the value of the firm and the equity capitalization rate, cost of equity. So K O K O is equal to twelve point five percent. What is twelve point five percent overall cost of capital? Now we have all the information. We'll go as per the formula. First one is what value? Value is equal to E B I T divided by K O. Value is equal to E B I T divided by K O. What is your E B I T? Now, your E B I T is 1 lakh. Like. 1 lakh like divided by K O, cost of capital. 12.5%, we can also call it as 0.125. How come it is 0 0.125? 12.5%. divided by 100. You will get 0 0.125. Hope you are clear. Yes. Now, so what is your answer? Your answer is 1 lakh into 1 lakh divided by 0 0.125. So I got around 8 lakh. So this is your value. Hope you got your value. Yes. Now, value is over. Now we'll go for second one. Equity. What is the formula of equity? Value minus debenture is your equity. Now, value minus debenture. What is your value? Value is already we calculated it is 8 lakh. So it will be 8 lakh. It is 8 lakh minus debenture. What is your debenture? Your debenture value is 5 lakh. Now minus 5 lakh. Your answer is 3 lakh. So what is your equity? Your equity answer I got. One is 8 lakh value and 3 lakh is your equity. Hope you are clear. Yes. The last one, value is over, equity is over. The last one is cost of equity. Cost of equity. What is the formula of cost of equity? EBIT minus your interest divided by equity. This is your formula. Now, EBIT, I'll go back. EBIT is rupees 1 lakh. 1 lakh minus, I means what? I stands for interest 10% in the sense 50,000. And divided by equity. What is your equity? Equity 3 lakh. Now calculate this. You will get your value of cost of equity. So final answer should be multiplied with 100 because we will get final answer in percentage. I got 16.66 
percent. Hope you are clear. This is all about your calculation. Now we done with your value is over, equity is over, and cost of equity also over. This is your ten mark problem in your examination. Now along with that we have verification also. What is that verification? Whatever you have done, whether it is correct or wrong, how to find out you have done right or wrong, we have verification. The verification is, this is a formula for verification. Cost of debenture into debenture. What is the cost of debenture? It is 10%. Debenture value is 5 lakh. Plus, cost of equity, just we got 16.66%. What is the value of equity? We already calculated. This is 3 lakh. This is 3 lakh. So, this will be, what is your value? The value is, value is 8 lakh. Value is 8 lakh. Now calculate, see how much you will get. F 5 lakh into 10% divided by 80 lakh. 30 lakh, 3 lakh into 16.66 divided by 8 lakh. Your final answer is, if you simplify this, I'll show you. 5 lakh into 10% divided by 8 lakh. So your final answer, I multiply with 100. Your final answer, I multiply with 100 because I need final answer in percentage into 100. I got 6.25. I got 6.25%. 6.25%. What is the total? The total is around 12 0.5 percent 12.5 so if you do your verification you got how much 12.5 percent now how do we get to know whether it is correct or wrong very simple your answer is 12.5 go back to your question what is your cost of capital it is 12.5 it should match with your cost of capital. Clear? Your answer is 12 point, your answer is how much? 12.5 and your overall cost of capital also 12.5. Hope you are clear. Yes, good. I'll go back to all the slides. Please take a screenshot. Yen wo I approach. So these are the formulas I mentioned, one, two, three, and the last one, verification. This is your problem number one. Continuation of problem one. Your last one. Yes. So this is all about your today's session. Hope you understood. So please work out the same thing at home you will understand better. Thank you.